Thank you, session chair person. Uh, this is indeed a very, very important uh, question. Uh, as far as DLF Foundation is concerned, we do believe that as a corporate foundation, as a company, we need to and we can participate with the NGOs and the government to address some of the complex social issues, whether it is related to hunger alleviation, uh, building skill sets for the young people, environmental degradation related issues, or with regard to healthcare, education. In all these areas, there is an important role as a corporate that we need to play. We also are aware of the fact that as a corporation, we need to bring to the forefront our assets and our unique abilities and competence to address some of the most critical problems that are addressing the society today. And we are also aware of the fact that as a corporation, we bring certain unique abilities and talents to the forefront, like bringing the 2% CSR, which is quite a large amount for us. And secondly, making available the unique resources of the company, whether it is regard to making the manpower available or the expertise, or with regard to the infrastructure that we have <coughs> as a real estate company, and also executing the CSR programs using our management expertise and having a dedicated CSR department for the particular purpose. And when we look at our partner organizations like the NGOs, we really believe that they play a very critical role for us. They bring in their unique strength of working with the communities, understanding the communities well, how to implement our CSR initiatives on the ground. They have done a phenomenal job and today, CSR has become an important subject of discussion in our boardroom. And it is directed in a very powerful and a very strategized manner by setting up a number of uh, initiatives in this direction. Now, coming particularly to the question that you have posed, that in terms of how do we build the partnerships? Uh, now, we have built the partnership adopting different models of approach. Like, for example, that one particular model that we adopted is build, execute, or operate, and transfer to the village panchayat and the local bodies to execute in the case of our waste management unit. We have other partnership where we have realized that working together is the way, and we need to fill the gaps that are there. So we came up with an, a very important program, which is called the Integrated Nurturing Talent Program, where we are partnered with the education department to look at the unique requirements of the educational sector. Like, for example, looking at the 28 government schools in Gurgaon, we said that every child needs to find a forward way. So how do we do that? We started picking up the brightest children from the government schools and put them in, up in a good public school and completely finance their education and follow them up till they exit in class 12 and until they become professionals and leaders of tomorrow, the underprivileged children who have got unique talents. About 833 such bright children who are children of maids, security guards, and people of that background have benefited from this particular program. And we said, the, we said that we need to adopt five government high schools in Gurgaon to ensure that the government is, uh, is empowered by bringing in technology, teacher training, infrastructure development, drinking water facilities, toilets for girls in these schools, and empower the schools to do their work well. We also felt that there are also students who cannot really find their way up academically. Therefore, we said that we need to empower them by setting up DLF learning excellence centers in the schools so that they are brought up to mark with the other schools in the neighborhood in terms of their level of learning. Then we also 
felt that that is alone is not sufficient. We need to set up our own school, village schools and slum schools, and also public schools to address the unique needs of uh, uh, children. And then we came across another model of partnership that is empowering the government to undertake service delivery effectively. We set up the rural information centers whereby the community is empowered to take up, uh, partner with the government, and also get the government schemes and programs to the communities. And then we said that. Now, looking at the government, we felt that there is a lack of capacity on the part of the government when it comes to implementation and monitoring the CSR programs. Therefore, we said we need to create natural leaders in the communities. And we picked up bright, self-motivated young people and the community leaders, trained them to work with the village panchayat, to look at what are the government facilities that are there, how to develop project proposals, and what are the needs of the communities, and how a partnership can be brokered between the government, the private sector, and the NGOs working together. We have also empowered the government to do the baseline survey of certain villages by our smart village development program, whereby we do a complete assessment of the villages and then create a roadmap for that particular village and commit to the government to say that we will do X number of activities in the area of perhaps maybe in education, healthcare, skill building, or uh, community infrastructure development. But there are other avenues where other corporates can come on board and mobilize such corporations like DLO being a real estate company the, and uh, also into rental business, mobilize a lot of corporations, multinational companies that are operating from the DLO premises to come on board with such type of initiatives, give them the way ahead, give them the ideas, the strategic linkages, and also foster broker partnership with the NGOs. And that way, uh, we do believe that we have been able to make substantial effort in addressing some of the social as well as environmental challenges that the country is facing. And above all, and lastly, that we felt that we need to wake up to the call for action made by the governments. That is, government made a call for action for Swatch India campaign, skilling India, educating India. So I think the corporates need to understand also the priorities of the government and see how we can align with the priorities of the government because they are the developmental challenges which are acknowledged by the government. How do we empower the government to address some of those issues? And we have been able to do a fair amount of job, but I think there is a long way to go. And these are some of, uh, some of our experiences in this particular sector. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph.